Melhoff Security and Technologies sets the standard for all your intrusion alarm systems, specializing in audio, video, surveillance, home theater, and door access needs. Call Melhoff Security, your local secure tech dealer, for a free consultation today. I suspect that the, that the motion would carry, but I, um, my opposition to it is based in the fact that we did this for the very best of reasons. We started this program four years ago. We were the first in the province to offer a full day, every day um, kindergarten program. We did it with the support of research. We have conducted our own research. research. We've kept kept excellent data over those those four years and the children are have been very successful in the program. This was also um, a suggestion of the Learning Commission. They were um, trying to lobby the province to have it included as part of our K-12 program. The province, in its wisdom, has decided to only fund half-day kindergarten. We had suspected we might be doing it for a couple of years, but how it ended up is four years that we've been funding the other half-day on our own. Now, when I was trying to make this decision, I also went to, I tried to get the bigger picture. Where is Alberta in the bigger picture? And many provinces in Canada right now are either in the process of moving or who moved many years ago, such as Quebec moved many years ago to full-day kindergarten and feel so strongly about it that they're actually instituting a half-day for four-year-olds. And this is, um, all EU countries have full-day kindergarten, publicly funded, and half-day kindergarten. And my fear is that Alberta students are going to fall behind globally because we're missing that critical early learning step. Not all of our communities have full-time kindergarten. Um, basically, not of all, all of our communities have been interested in full-time kindergarten. Um, as a result of some very small numbers of kids in programs, and a result of some parents saying, you know what, we don't want more than half-time, uh, it's kind of going through the list, and actually, we've got we've got six different options happening across Prairie Rolls right now when it comes to kindergarten. The recommendation that the administrative recommendation for next year's kindergarten program would be to have the kindergartens that are currently offering a five-day kindergarten, five-day full-day kindergarten program. Those schools would offer a four-day full-day kindergarten program each week. The schools that are currently offering a four-day full-day kindergarten program, that would be a point eight full-time equivalent, would go to a three-day full-day kindergarten program, so three days a week, and which days those are would have to be determined by the communities. And the schools that are currently offering three days a week would continue to offer three days a week, and the schools that are continuing to offer a half-time program would continue with that. And that half-time program is typically offered with the three days one week, two days the next week, mm -hmm. is how it's offered. The a uh, full-time equivalent additional staffing requirement to offer that program over a half-time kindergarten program is 1.9 full-time equivalent teachers. Um, I guess my comments uh, would be is very similar to what you have said, Mrs. Hasazumi, that is, it is extremely regrettable that we have to look at uh, the kindergarten program at this particular time since it has in my opinion, uh, done some wonderful results, but we are also uh, trustees of the public funds, and uh, I, I think n n not being the only reason, but a reason certainly for looking at balancing our budget, and, and it's unfortunately that, unfortunate that the government has not come through or recognized the fact that kindergarten certainly is an important part of our children's education.